Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today. Uh, some from Food Network Kitchen uh, Inspirations Shrimp Scampi Kit. I got this at Ollie's where the slogan's good stuff cheap. Says that their price is $2.99, our price is $1.99. And I got this 50 cent off, so this was a dollar. And I'll show you what all it contains. It contains uh, fettuccine, I mean, linguine pasta right there. It has Parmesan cheese. Right there it has the uh, uh, scampi seasoning, which is a thing of garlic and herb. And right here you got a thing of the dried onion. And it has a thing of a uh, picture description of the cooking instructions right here. Pretty cool. And what you need to add, I have the water. You know, what? how much water was in there? One and a quarter cups water. You got a half pound of... Of medium shrimp I got small a little more than half a pound 12 ounces but I like shrimp so that's good and along with uh, that you need a, a lemon along with the go along with the, the onion you got lemon right there and uh, back then to two tablespoons of butter so it says peel and devein shrimp but it's already done season shrimp with salt and pepper squeeze one tablespoon of lemon juice I did all that that's all done then you have to do the stuff in the skillet. Melt one tablespoon butter in medium skillet on medium high heat. And add shrimp. Stir for a minute until shrimp turns peak. Remove shrimp from skillet. Set aside. And then you uh, add uh, one and a quarter cups of water, linguine pasta, garlic and herb seasoning, and onion to skillet. Stir, boil, bring to boil. Cover, simmer uh, eight to nine minutes or until most of the water is gone. Stirring occasionally. Remove from heat. Add shrimp, parmesan cheese, and remaining one teaspoon of butter. Stir until butter is melted. Stir in parsley and lemon juice. Enjoy. Cool. I can do that right now. I might do the lemon juice differently. I'm going to squeeze this in a bowl and get some of the stuff. I might do a shot of my uh, eating some lemon too. Yeah, I got a mixture of the water with, I already did the shrimp stuff. The water, the onion, the scampi seasoning, and uh, uh, the Oh, the noodles, pasta noodles in there. And it, I got to a bowl and I'm going to reduce the heat and let it cook for eight to nine minutes covered up. So, let's steam. Out. And while and I'm waiting I for thought, it to. Oh, no, I'm totally wearing it. Waiting out for it to cook. My I'm going to watch Aaron's out the video. Tell me thank you for and the video the I did for her channel. Sounds like it's going. Isn't that cool? <laughs> anyway, let's watch this together. I don't know, but even then, uh, even after all that, I'm pretty sure most of the videos on my channel would then be demonetized. Okay, now here's the finished product. I put some lemon on it. What I did was I scooped the lemon out, the, the whole lemon out in a bowl, and I'm going to eat the rest of this on a webcam so you can see me eat it. Okay. I put some lemon juice on here, and this is some of it. There's a little, still a little bit more left over. I thought it was kind of cool showing me... Me watching Aaron's reaction to a video of me or a commentary, so it's pretty cool. Let's try it out. Really good. Lemon juice gives it a real tartness to it. Very savory. With the shrimp. I love the flavor of the Linguini noodles. Mmm. It tastes of garlic. Tastes of onion a little bit. I should say lemon. Actually, pretty good. It's pretty filling. I get by. Not bad. I wish I would have gotten the chicken masala too, but I didn't. Well, this isn't bad. I give the Food Network uh, Inspirations Shrimp Scampi Kit 8 out of 10. So join me now as I eat uh, the lemon on the webcam. All right. Okay, I'm back to eat the remaining part of the lemon. I mean, if Skippy Six to Able can do it, I can do it too. I just scooped out the lemon. I never bought lemon before for anything. 
I don't even think I bought lemon. I might have bought artificial lemon juice before. That's about it. So let's go ahead and try it out. It's, it's uh, Skippy 6 to able can do it. I can do it. I'll pulp right here. Oh, I, I one thing. Before I started my channel, I remember Ollie's, uh, you know, buying, sometimes you buy stuffed olives and sometimes it's really expensive. But Ollie's, they had a couple different types of stuffed olives. I may, I had the misfortune of having all of the green olives stuffed with lemon. They were awful. <laughs> Don't ever get lemon stuffed with, I mean, uh, uh, all the stuff with lemon. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready for a sour face. I don't know if you can chew that. Uh oh. We can't do that. Hold on. I don't want to gross anyone out. Let's just drink the lemon juice. Wow. This stuff is like the memory and stuff like that. Kick up. Mass reflux again. I didn't mean gross anyone out. Okay, let's drink. Whole thing lemon juice. Woo! I mean that lemon was sixty nine cents. I'm sure if I don't know if that's expensive lemon or not. They am on sale for two for a dollar. I still don't know if that's expensive because sure finds expensive, but that's last week. I wanted to do it for the with this the skillet meal. Some more left. Let's try it out. Let's kick my... Oh, my lips are starting to sting. It's kicking up my acid reflux, but... I'm going to try it for your enjoyment. <laughs> I knew this was happening. I didn't know if I was going to... What I was going to do with lemon. Because it said lemon juice or whatever. I just bought a whole lemon. I could have bought like a thing of... The plastic lemons they had at Surefine, they were all 90 cents. There was one I looked at, there was one that was empty. Completely empty. I couldn't believe it, and they were selling it. So they make sure at Surefine to check what you're doing. That's why I don't feel bad about them at the new Dollar Tree uh, Family Dollar uh, mix-up, half and half store, which I'm doing a video about tomorrow. It takes away some of their business, because some of the stuff's way out. That's why they said that the sure fine in uh, Connieville closed because it was just so outrageous. People were going to other places. Okay, I got a little more water to drink. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. So I don't. Whoa. Whoo. That'll wake you up more than any energy drink. It's probably healthy, though, but, boy, a little stinging around the lips. So tart. I think it's, maybe it might balance out my acid reflux. I don't know, but, boy, that was tart. A little bit more right here. A little piece. I think what I got before is membrane. You couldn't eat that part. I hope you like this cooking video and also me eating lemons and also the little bit of Aaron F. I think Aaron F will think it's funny. Me filming a video of her reaction to my video talking about her her channel. I think that's kind of funny. A little bit of that in there. Uh, I'm glad she did that video about thanking me for that. I thought that was pretty awesome. So I hope you like this video, everybody. Till next time, please. It's Game of Legion. Jason Callen, your YouTube channel kicks ass. Everyone should go and subscribe to Jason freaking Callen, the hot sauce king pin of them all. Yeah.
And that's the story how I traveled back in time to meet Hans Bugeldorf. I knew him briefly, but I never did find my cousin. I think my cousin was swallowed up by the bobblehead. But I have hope that he's still out there. Now don't forget to buy a t-shirt to the gift shop, okay? Thank you for coming to the Chuck Damp Duke City Bobblehead Museum. If you like the tour, please come back anytime. I'm Jason Callen, by the way. I have a YouTube channel. I review food, movies, and other things if you're interested. Okay, we're closed now. You can leave now. The door is over there, buddy. We got to close down the shop, my friend. Hey, are you listening to me? Hey, hey, buddy, we're closed. You want to become applesauce? I'll review you. I'm just kidding, buddy. But seriously, we're closed.